Hey everybody, I am going to do a quick cook tutorial. It's not a real recipe, and I mean, I'm just taking a couple steaks and basically cooking them in teriyaki sauce while doing sauteed mushrooms. And then of course, um, quick and easy microwave um, Asian medley. So it's not a real fancy recipe, it's just, I'm just throwing some stuff on the stove and cooking it. I have petite, Let's see if I can do this right. Yes, petite sirloin steaks. Uh, so we're just gonna, oh, they're still slightly, ever so slightly frozen, which is fine. And yes, I did wash my hands because I never cook without washing my hands. I always, well, that one's a big one. I want to start out with clean hands. Yes, we are doing a microwave, microwave rice. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do a microwave rice cook. Okay. Um, I don't have any real rice to go with this. So I'm just going to microwave some whole grain rice. All right. Now I've got my steaks arranged and stove on high. I have not opened this yet. Oh yeah, I did. Just haven't used much of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm just gonna pour a bunch of cherry gaaki. I'm not gonna use a whole bottle. Um, that's just a waste. Being most of it gets cooked off anyhow. So I will keep this off the side for later. not be scratching up my stove but sometimes I just can't pick up the pan just right and then go ahead and let that start to cook I uh, want pet of tongues now the mushrooms are just basically you know whatever mushroom you choose with butter salt get everything flavored and you can do anything you want to with these t uh, the steaks you can add Asian seasoning garlic um, ginger in fact I might actually do a little bit of that where is it where is this where is it Mushrooms can go to low. Yeah. Where's that? There it is. Nope. I have somewhere in this kitchen set of measuring spoons and there are three of them on there it says pinch dash and I forgot what the third one was but it's not an actual measurement it's just a it's not a measurement you'll find in your cookbooks I just want to put a dash of ginger in there Now 
Yeah. Take it the is. Cover on. Huh? Take the cover on. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Sorry, I didn't say what. Oh, no, no. I remember what you told me. Cooking vegetables is not my forte. I leave that up to Jerry. Almost seems like I'm boiling the meat because of the teriyaki sauce. And I probably got a minute or two more before I should turn them over. But I want to try to get as much of the flavoring into the meat. Now these steaks are a little bit thicker than what I'm normally used to because I'm used to like the thin skirt steaks. Skirt steaks. But because these are a little bit thicker, it's probably going to take me a little bit longer to cook them. And I'm probably going to have to test them multiple times. And what I mean by testing them is finding one... <coughs> excuse me. Finding one and cutting into the center to make sure it's cooked all the way through. Because mom is a little picky about how red her meat is. Me... You can give me steak tartare and I'm happy. In fact, before I started losing my teeth, I used to be, give me a, give me a steak that's basically been cooked for four minutes on each side and I'll be happy. I wanted, I wanted it bloody and raw. <laughs> now, that, I don't know if you can see it from there. But the, let's see if I can move this a little bit closer without taking away from the, no, 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 ah. Okay, well, can't get it as close as I wanted to, but you can kind of see how it's starting to boil in the juices. And it's starting to turn, oh yeah, that's a nice, nice color. But the outside color does not mean it's thoroughly cooked from the inside. Like I said, I'll probably have to put into one of these. Maybe a fork would have been a whole lot better than these tongs. But one of the things I have learned over the time with cooking is if you allow the meat to cook too long on one side, especially the, the thinner skirt steaks, they'll start to curl. And when they start to curl, that basically means that they're done on that one side, or it's been on that one side too long. Let's see here. Oh. This side, we're gonna give it a little bit of a that's cooking on that side give you a little cooking background of what I've had to deal with um, now I'm pretty sure I've told you in the past that there was a time shortly between the ages of 19 and 21 that I lived on my own in a studio style apartment and it wasn't the best because it was in a section of town that was problematic. And I don't mean problematic by drugs or crime rate. I mean problematic by it was the older part of town. It was an older part of the area and it had problems with sewage, pro uh, you know, not sewage, but, you know, roaches, basically pests and whatnot. And it was my experimentation of basically what can I make to survive on with 
minimum amounts of money because most of my money was either going into my rent or some some other payment I had. So I had maybe $75 a week for food. And I had to make that stretch, not a week, I had to make that stretch for a month. So maybe, maybe $100 a month for food. Because I was living off of my dad's um, retirement money that was basically to go to me until I turned a certain age. Um, so I had to, I had to learn how to live off of that, which is basically PB and J, um, barbecue sauce, ramen noodles, and maybe, maybe, maybe if I had a little extra money to splurge with, skirt steaks. So I learned how to take ramen noodles and make, um, Asian dishes, uh, spaghetti, in fact, my spaghetti back then was ramen noodles, barbecue sauce, ketchup, and garlic salt. You know, cooked on a small stove. Like a three burner stove that they slapped in this. Basically it was a studio apartment that they um, retrofitted out of a, an old, old motel. So they had like a, like a small studio style of kitchen, or a, I would almost describe it as some of the student apartments that I've seen in colleges where you've got your main living area, which is where your bed, TV, couch, desk, table, then a, a kitchen that had maybe four cabinets, a three burner stove, and one large deep sink, no dishwasher, nothing like that. Everything had, had to be hand washed. And then a small bathroom with a small sink toilet and stand up shower like you'd find at a hotel um that was basically where i lived for three months until i got into a program called pwp or not pwp a program called ldi and that's where i got my i got higher education on how to take care of myself and get a job and things like that. And it was, a, it was state funded almost. Um, but that studio apartment, I learned how to make my own teriyaki steaks and cook some ramen noodles and added either <clears throat> teriyaki sauce or um, soy sauce. Sorry, it took me a second to remember. But these steaks are getting to the point where they're ready to be tested. I have one steak in here that's, well, the end still is a little, little on the raw side, but because of its shape and size, um, it's a, it's a, well, here, let me show you. It's basically a little fat guy. You know, one side is a little more robust than the other, so it's going to cook differently. Otherwise, the steaks are starting to look good. I just probably have to cut into one. I'll probably cut into one of the big, big long ones and then into this guy just to see how red they are on the inside. Um, let's see here. Uh, I'm going to need... I use it, yeah. Just gotta be careful on it. well because this is an aluminum uh, aluminum alloy pan. I don't want to cut in it. Get a little tester plate. Not too bad it's not like it's, it's not pink that's for sure but it's not 100 percent brown it's 
the way we like it around here. So, what I'm uh, probably going to end up doing is putting these guys on. Yeah, this one I can tell just by cutting into it. It's yeah, this one's still like raw, raw. So, what I'm going to do now is basically lower this to simmer. Add just a little bit more teriyaki so it doesn't start to get really bad. I just grabbed a bag of broccoli stir fry from my freezer because it's got everything that we like. Snow peas, water chestnuts, carrots, broccoli. And then I just have to make sure I put it on for the right amount of time. Right. And yes, I'm cheating because today is one of those days where it's just like... I didn't really have anything solidly planned. I just had a rough idea of what I wanted to do. All right, those steaks are almost done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn it off. Actually, better not, I'll just leave it on simmer, not turn it off. Cover it because that heat and the steam is going to help cook that one guy that was basically undercooked. And while that's happening, I'm just going to quickly set the table. Because once I'm done with the steaks and the sides, I'll be done with dinner. I don't necessarily call this cheat day because we're not cheating, we're not eating a bunch of unhealthy stuff. We're basically just making something quick and simple. I know a lot of people like, you took steaks and you did what with them? You didn't barbecue them, you didn't add barbecue sauce, you didn't do anything fancy like that? No. It's not like steaks are a specialty or an everyday occurrence um, in today's um, in today's economy and the way things are. It's nice to have. Ste I mean, I can't get the package back out because I don't want to dig in the garbage. But that was four skirt. That was four petite steaks for under six bucks. They were like five and change. Um, a lot of our a lot of our food products that we get are within inexpensive range. We don't go out and buy T bone or um, any any of the fancy cut type meats. We get just your regular everyday grocery meats. Um, I learned a long time ago how to take a basic food product. Excuse me, that. Um, I used to basically, when I was living at Little Studio, skirt steaks, ramen noodles, some sauce, some seasoning. Maybe if I felt like it, you know, can of corn. I wasn't a big vegetable fan back then. Um, it wasn't until wasn't really until I met Jerry Ann 
that I was eating more vegetables. Back before durian, it was corn, potatoes, things that people call starches or, um, I forgot the term now, but most of, yeah, most of the vegetables, salad. I did, I will, I did eat green, but I did eat like iceberg lettuce salad. Um, you just go out and buy a, ba a bag of it and it was mostly me that mom would eat, would eat a small bowl. But I used to eat salads, you know, basically iceberg lettuce, red red lettuce, or red cabbage, and um, carrots. And I would add, you know, my salad dressing, uh, croutons, bacon bits. Every so often I'd buy um, one of those airtight sealed bags of cute, like the itty bitty cubed ham, pieces of ham, sunflower seeds, things like that in my salads. But for the most part, most of my cooking is just simple slap together stuff. Ooh. Yep, wrong hand. Torn. Yeah. So it was, you know. But now with Jerry Ann, it's we have broccoli, you know, stir fry mentally. We have broccoli, we have corn, we still have potato. We you know we have everything, but we have a little bit more variety. In fact, Jerry Ann's got some zucchini back here that are not zucchini. Yellow squash. We'll cut that up and saute it. And me and me and Jerry will eat it. We did try it once, breaded. I don't remember how well that came out. Breaded and fried. I mean, I like breaded uh, breaded uh, zucchini. But I'm I'm a simple cook, you know, no no frills, no chills. All right, let's check this one piece of meat again. Ooh, I have to. side got nice and dark because it was sitting inside the teriyaki juices. Oh yeah, that one looks really good. Now, if you cook your teriyaki and add a little bit more sauce, you can tell how they got nice and caramelized on one side. Not caramelized to the point where it's crunchy, but caramelized where it's got all those flavors that are locked into the meat now. Hey, babe.
Yeah, just do one. Okay. All right. Oh. I've done this once before. These these microwave safe brown rices, the 90 second rices. There was one time I accidentally forgot to pack the seal, and it exploded inside my uh, microwave. It was not a fun day. I had a good laugh over it, but it was a little messy to clean up. Let's see, 90 seconds. All right. All right, I am going to go ahead and turn this off because I think it's done. Um, yes, I am known from dirty multiple multiple plates, but that's as a cook for you. So while that is finishing its cooking process, I'm gonna go sit on the table. I said no, food's almost ready. I just gotta. Oh no. Um, food is practically ready. All I have to do is plate it and serve it. Are you still filming? Yeah. Oh. All right. Okay. Shrank a little bit. Looks like it cooked through it thoroughly. My little one. I'm thankful that there's no bones in these because bones and I don't get along when it comes to cooking. Now, if you wanted to, and this is totally up to you, it's up to the individual cook, you can take all these beautiful juices that are floating around in here and you can either put them in a container to be served with food, make a roux, whatever you want to do. <clears throat> I, on the other hand, today do not need them. So they're just gonna go in sinking down the drain unfortunately. Alright, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm going too fast. 
Um, how many of these bags have a nice book? No, not today. Okay. I'm not in the mood to fight with bags trying to find it to tear point. So again, it's a cheat day. Take these to the table. Jerry. Yes. Can you uh, get mom, please? Yes. yes. I'm sorry, are you doing something? No, I, I don't. Uh, it's just okay. You have to wait to start on me. Oh. Said, uh, All right. Mushrooms. caramelized onions in here. Gotta love it. Cause I don't like scraping on some of these pots because of the way they're made out of. And in fact I want as much of these good onions out. I'll use a spatula. There's the mushrooms. Last but not least, a rice. I tried to check those. The only one that might be a little red on the inside is that big fat one. So help yourselves to whatever you guys want. Yes, you did, and I know. Okay. I'm the one who said the wrong thing. I told mom not to help you. You said you didn't want to go and do this by yourself. Yeah, and I know. Came over and said, well, you could I thought you, I, no, it's okay. Anyhow. <laughs> that is quick and easy, simple dinner my way. Um, I am going to attempt later on tonight with Jerry Ann's help because it's basically her recipe, but I want to try to cook it. We're going to try to do the egg roll in a bowl. So hopefully we can do that for you guys later. It might be a, me and Jerry doing it together. So be prepared for that one. Guys, have a good night. God bless. Bye.